Audio test, one, two, three, four, five, six. What's going on everyone? Welcome to today's video. Today we are doing another Lancaster unboxing and uh, we've actually already unboxed it already, but we didn't have, we had technical difficulties and we didn't have any audio. So we put it all back in the box and we got it all back together. But today, as you can see, we're unboxing an Excalibur crossbow and this crossbow is uh is actually kind of cool and the only one of its kind and i know you guys are all thinking probably right now like whoa this is an archery channel and traditionally always like a compound channel but you know i have definitely have my thoughts about crossbows but crossbows are good for in my opinion people that can't shoot you know a compound bow before whatever reason age um you know physical problems whatever and they're really good just for getting people in the outdoors. It's super easy to, you know, use a crossbow, obviously, in, like, ease of entry for kids and everything. So do I think, like, a, you know, some states have kind of gone overboard on it? Yes, but overall, I think um, crossbows, there's pros and cons to them. So anyways, I have to address that. But today, we are unboxing this crossbow. So let's jump right in, see what's in this box, and get going. Alrighty, so as you can see, I put this all in there myself. This is not how, it, not how it goes in there. But what you have is you have this bow part. I don't even know what to call it. They like send it all like disassembled. They, this bow part, we got a manual, we got a quiver, we got the stock, and we got four arrows. Which I think these arrows look very, like very small, like or bolts. My apologies. These bolts look very small, like smaller than the usual ones. So we'll see what that's about. Uh, it looks like this is the crank for it. And then we have a scope. So we literally have the whole nine yards here. And what we're gonna do now is figure out how to put together this bad boy. And hopefully it ain't too bad. Hopefully it ain't too hard, because I don't do a very good job of following directions. But I think we have to follow directions this time around. So I guess let's look at the scope real quick. I don't know what type of scope this comes with, but it is a Overwatch. No idea what that is, but it looks like it's a pretty good scope. Definitely looks like a crossbow scope. This is cool. It looks like it has feet per second on here. So probably what we're gonna do is once this thing's all set up, we're gonna set it up through the chronograph, shoot it through the chronograph, Move it to feet per second. Oh, that's cool. So on the inside it has 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100 yards all ready to go. So I think you move it to your feet per second, then all of your all of your stuff is dialed. So that is cool. And on top of that, is this a light or a lighted deal? Oh it is. That's pretty cool. It lights up green and red sick okay so let's turn that bad boy off so we have the scope right here we have a four arrows we have the stock this quiver this is caliber quiver looks like pretty basic quiver i'm sure it clips on somewhere crank we have this manual which we are definitely going to need this manual to go over. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna put this together and then we'll go from there. We'll see. Okay, so correction on the name. This is the Twin Strike with dual fire technology. Well, assembly on this is actually super easy. Like it's literally, you put that front end on, you put the scope on, you attach this, which this is the cocking mechanism and it's actually a quick detach, but we can talk about that later. What we're gonna do right now is we're gonna shoot this thing through the chronograph so that we, we can then calibrate, calibrate the scope it has a little set screw on it. So you loosen the set screw, calibrate the scope. And I think literally you can shoot right on. 
you obviously have to zero it in at 20, but once you zero it in at 20, you're like pretty good. So let's do that. Let's get this thing loaded with its very first arrow. Okay, so step number one, it says, I did read all the instructions. So this cocking mechanism, it actually is like a, like a quick, super quick deal, it seems like. You hook it on this right side, then you run this other the rest of the rope on this little groove in there and then you bring it back down and obviously since we're dealing with two strings it's because it's the freaking twin strike two arrows at one time it's not at one time but pretty much at one time you have to um obviously put it on the same rope you can't like pull them both back at the same time you gotta do one and then the other one you click in the handle just like that and then you put it on fire when you when you cock it back and then you literally put your foot in the deal. It's always so scary. I'm not a crossbow guy, so. There you go. Hear it click, the trigger literally clicks in. Gently go down. That's it. You literally put that back up, you quick detach that. And like, if you're hunting, you put it in a pocket or something. There's like these cartridges. So you literally load the arrow through there. So now it's loaded. We are gonna put this chrono. <laughs> we got 276 on there right now from a bow. And this is gonna be like, I don't even know, like 400. I have no idea. What, what trigger is it, you think? Probably the top one, eh? All right, here we go. I'm not looking through the scope because I'm just kind of making sure it's hitting the target, but I am gonna guess it's this front one. <laughs> Woo! 355, wow, that was exhilarating. Nothing like shooting across the one one. So is it 355? 355. So now, go to your scope. 355. Yep. We're gonna loosen the set screw. I think that's the set screw. 75, 70, 65. So if I had to guess, it's probably gonna be, it's probably right there. If you don't have a chronograph, I'm assuming it, you can do it the same way as like an archery sight. And you can like find your, get sighted in for your 20 and then go back to 60 and then just use your dial until you're all the way dialed in. We have them both cock locked and ready to rock. That just looks freaking wicked. So I want it before we go outside, I kind of want to see what this is like shooting both at the same time or not at the same time, but with them both, both locked in. You really got to press that in. Now they're the same. That looks wicked. Look at that. It's like medieval times. Imagine if they had this back in like freaking the Roman Ro Roman years. Freaking just popping people left and right. The quick freaking. <laughs> right, let's see what this is like. I'm kind of scared. I'm just gonna. I'm not gonna do them very fast. I'm just gonna do them nice and slow. That like hurts my ears, dude. That was not nah, alright. Let's do the same one. That definitely popped different. That was two different noises. Wow, that is scary. You smell that? Yeah. It's like burning rubber. All right. Well, I see it. let's take this thing outside and see if we can shoot kind of far with it. Okay. So we're at 20 yards right now. We're just gonna get dialed at 20, and then we're just going straight back to 100. Ah, maybe not. Maybe 50, no, but 100. Okay, up a little bit. Try it again. I'm gonna at that low red dot. That's real close. Okay, we're getting dialed. I had to shoot a couple times, it's getting super hot out. I had to take my jacket off. But we're getting 
close, we're probably just gonna shoot one more time and then back it up. So far, so far, impressions are, it's freaking weird shooting two arrows, like both cocked back there. Like I don't know what trigger to choose and stuff, but what I think we're gonna do too is like shoot at 100 yards and see if there's impact difference between the two bolts. Cause that's what going through my head right away. It's like, the, we got these two arrows and do different, you know, they're about an inch, inch and a half apart. Are they gonna hit the same? So probably at close distance, yes, but we're gonna see at far distance if that matters. We are back at 60 yards. I'm just gonna aim right in the middle. Oh, I hit it. I legit hit the dot I was aiming at. That's crazy. All right, well I say we go back to 100. I'm actually gonna get a uh, like a tripod, get this all very steady, and we're gonna we're gonna see how good we can do at 100. Getting precise. Oh, it's too tough. That level, cross level. This is cheating, folks. Like, nearly. We have the death grip out, which is pretty much when you get a rifle or a crossbow in this thing, it's like, it doesn't move. So we have the crossbow set up. We have two bolts set up. We're at 100 yards, and I can, like, hold dead nuts on it without barely moving. So we're gonna see how well this thing shoots, and especially we're gonna see how well it shoots, like, the two arrows compared to each other. So it might take us a, a time or two to get 100% dialed to where we're aiming, but this is pretty nutty. I literally hit like this high and to the left. We're just gonna adjust throw number two. Oh my gosh, dude. I'm like two inches off. <laughs> wow. That's not even right. One, two, three. Let's try that. Arrow number three and four coming right at you. This thing has a level like snipers have on their scopes. It has a level on it. And this this uh, bog pod has a level on it too. So we got this level, scope level, and I can just hold literally right on it. So we'll see how accurate we can get. We're not gonna touch the sight for the next couple arrows. We're just gonna see what our groups can do. Okay, that one I touched a little right too shooting this thing there is a uh, there's a touch of recoil like it bumps it bumps a little bit and i don't know if that's more so or not because there's two there's four limbs on it um and then also the the trigger travel there is a little bit of trigger travel in it like if I'm, I'm shooting out 100 yards like trying to be really you know conscious of a good trigger pull and it's like a little bit of travel in it so again that's like being super fine-tuned should you be shooting animals at 100 yards no should be shooting animals at 90 yards with this thing? Probably not. But as far as like a shooting and, and having fun and testing aspect, it's doing pretty good. But I'll probably, I know I just said I wasn't gonna move the site, but I'm probably gonna move it. Just a little bit. Round number two. Should be pretty dialed. I'm gonna shoot a four arrow group, not touch anything, just see how well we can get our group. And um, overall, I'm getting like super used to loading it. Um, loading it is super, super easy. Um, and I can even just load it on this this uh, tripod. So like if you're in a box blind or something and you have it setting on like, the windowsill or like this, you can just like crank it just like that. Cause it's literally, there's no force or anything. It's just coming right back. Um, so that I really like overall. I mean, so far so good. Let's see how well it groups though, compared to the, the two, I'll probably shoot I'll just shoot them both and take mental note where they both go, top or bottom bows, I guess, because there's two bows on this thing, top bow, bottom bow. Okay, that was about four inches low, and that was the bottom bow, so that would make sense if it went a little low. Let's shoot the next one. <laughs> Dude, those are touching down there. Not even kidding. Wow. That is stupid. Oh, I used my 90. <laughs> I hit the wood underneath the target. Wow, I'm an idiot. 
I'll tell you what though, that would have hit that would have hit just right because when I put my 90 on the middle, my 100 is right where my arrow is. <laughs> of course. All right, 100 yard pin this time. Yeah, right there. Wow. That's nuts. Overall, I mean, it's it's super easy to shoot. Um, the fact that you can shoot um, two back to back like that is pretty nuts. And it's like in my like morals, seems like kind of crazy that you can shoot like back to back. Like like you know, if there's a deer in the food pot and you're like boom miss and then boom, you know, you have two shots like just back to back. So which is crazy, but that's your deal. That's your deal. The thing's sick shoots well and uh, let's go let's go look at the arrows down there wow so I was aiming at this dot right there and they were just hitting low and I didn't want to boom my move my sights because I wanted to see how well they would actually group and then this is my my mess up but it was perfectly in line and when I put my 90 little dot right there the hundred dot is right where this guy's at oh wow yeah that may be staying right there <laughs> that's nuts i mean these two are touching you know i can wrap my fingers around that group that is just that's that's some pretty crazy accuracy especially out of um you know the, it's a twin strike a dual strike two crossbows in one and they both i mean they're both impacting the same at 100 yards so that's that's pretty nuts. And uh, if you guys want this bow, this crossbow, you guys can check it out at Lancaster Archery Supply. So make sure you check them out. Subscribe to them, like to them. Make sure to check out all of your archery needs at Lancaster Archery Supply. And thank you so much for watching my channel. I hope you guys really enjoyed these unboxing videos, kind of my honest reviews on all this stuff. And, and let me know what you what you want me to review. And that we are always thinking of ideas, like what can we do next? So if you guys have ideas, different unboxings and reviews, drop them in the comments below. So as always, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll catch you in the next one.